Good morning, Crocker. It's Shreya. And Karen, let's go over to our top story. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, and it's the third day of the revised schedule. This morning, you should have English and math meetings similar to Monday's schedule. Although, many teachers might consider having office hours or small group meetings today. All tools for the schedule are located on the Crocker website. Be sure you are using the virtual whiteboard and the week at a glance, which Mr. Hager sent out yesterday afternoon to all the students. We know it is hard to change schedules, but give it some time and things will smooth out. Thanks for your patience and flexibility. Once again, let's check out some H some HTV at home clips. One thing that helped me during distance learning is having a daily schedule because um, you can you can organize your day how you want it and you can put on the Google Meets from each teacher depending on the day. And so for example, at nine o'clock it'll at nine o'clock it'll be like homework and that like 1030 it will be like science class or something like that and so having a daily schedule is very helpful during distance learning hello there crocker my name is marcello let me show you how to take a conversation out of your inbox so you have to do is click on the conversation and then go up here and then you'll press the x all i have to do is click that and that removes the conversation from your inbox Thank you very much. I want to thank my sponsor, Flex Tape, for sponsoring this video. Goodbye. Hi guys, I'm Annie, and I know we've all been stuck at home due to quarantine, so I just wanted to share with you guys what I like to do in my spare time. So you guys may or may not know that I really love to sing, and I used to do piano when I was little, so I decided that I would want to start up piano again. I play sticky notes on the notes so I know, and, and I get muscle memory, to know what the notes are, and then I continuously play them, and I sing along. So once you have learned all of the chords to the song and you know the lyrics, I already had known the lyrics prior, you can just mash it all together, and I think it's really beautiful. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a little snippet of me singing Falling by Harry Styles. He's one of my favorite artists. I'm in my bed And you're not here but there's no one to blame but the drink in my wandering hands So there's just a short clip of me singing it, but obviously you can learn the whole song, which I have done. But I just don't have a little bit of limited time here. So I just want to make sure that you guys all stay safe and healthy and make sure that you are mentally happy. And during this time, I know it's really hard and it's been really hard on me, but I have gotten to find something that I love. So thank you guys so much. Bye. Now let's go over to Darren for In The Views. What's getting views? Saturday, Saturday Night Live is still running, even through quarantine. It is called Saturday Night Live at Home. Tom Hanks was on the first episode, and now Brad Pitt is on the second. It is really interesting to see how they produce the show with everyone at home and no live audience. Very exciting, and it is getting lots of views. Let's take it back over to Carol. Your book is looking for more pictures to fill up some pages. We are especially looking for candid shots of 8th graders and PE at home pictures from any grade. If you have them to share, check your email from, for the form Google form that Miss Alex sent out on Monday. Please remember to practice good digital citizenship, and do not share any photos of someone without their permission. The deadline is Wednesday for submissions. That is today, so get busy, snap some pictures, and send them in. Make it in the yearbook with them. Yesterday was the first grade level class meet for sixth graders at 4 p.m. These will be held every week until the end of school. Seventh graders will meet today at 4, and the eighth graders will meet tomorrow at 4. Check your email for the invite and put it on your calendar. You don't want to miss this chance to see your friends and classmates that you haven't seen in over six weeks. Check it out. Now let's go over to Grace for birthdays. Hey, Crocker. It's Grace for the birthdays for today. Happy birthday to Regina and Jack. Please wish them a very happy birthday and let's send it back to the anchors. It is getting harder to find fun things to do, and you should know there are a ton of resources on the Crocker Library website for you, including book recommendations, fun stuff to fill up your free time, and a list of many places you can read books online for free distance learning. Check it out, and keep an eye on the library section of the virtual whiteboard for more upcoming library programming. 
This week, we have another guest a person. For this week, we have a portion of a face. Do you know who it is? Submit your response on the Google form Mr. Hager sent out. And if you are the first person to respond correctly, you will be shouted on on HTV next week. And now let's take it over to George for Selfies of the Day. What's going on, Crocker? Welcome back to Selfies of the Day. And now for today's Spirit Day theme, it is Wacky Wednesday, and yesterday was Twin Tuesday, and you guys dressed up as twins. So here are some awesome photos of you guys dressing up as twins. Today, the theme is Wacky Wednesday, so dress up as crazy as possible and send Mrs. Bowie a photo on the Google form. All right, Crocker, let's take it back to the desk. Well, that's all for our show. Bye, Crocker. Have a great day.